Hi everyone, Robert Beauchamp here for the imaging training. Today we're going to be just going over in case uh, we have an emergency x-ray come into play. So if somebody comes in the office, there's an emergency, uh, what you can do um, is you can quickly just take a picture, take an x-ray, launch the x-ray acquisition. Once here, um, the system will automatically use the default sequence. But what's great about the software is you can override the sequence anytime. You can just click anywhere you want to acquire the image. Um, and you can take multiple images of the same tooth number if you do make sure that this button here is red. Red means stop on one. If you click on it, it turns green. Green means go, meaning it'll go forward and it will advance through the numerical sequence outlined uh, in the uh, full mouth series. So anytime you want to override any of these larger numbers, which are the programmed sequence, you would just click on it. And if you choose that, if you change that button to red, pardon me, uh, then it will stay on that one tooth. And when you acquire the x-rays, it will take the x-ray and place it in that box. And any x-ray you take again will just be placed on top of the other x-ray chronologically. Um, if you ever do um, take it in the wrong box, it's very simple. You click on the x-ray, it highlights light gray. We can drag and drop it and put it in the proper place. So you can take those images and place them in the right place if you'd like. Uh, you can also uh, place them and if you right click on them, you can also orient them uh, differently. Okay, so we can rotate it and put it in different ways as well. Okay, so when you're in here and you're dealing with an emergency, you can override the sequence, acquire images underneath a specific tooth number, and you can take multiple images in the same box and it will be all saved. When you exit, what you would do is save all. I'm not going to do this now because I have thousands of images in here, but I'll just um, go out and then the images would now be stored in your FMX underneath that tooth number. And if you did have multiple images, you would see that little plus sign. And if you highlight that X-ray, you left mouse click for a couple of seconds, it will tile it out to the right. And now they will be there chronologically and you can see the date and time of each image taken. Okay, so this is where you can easily view and see the images up there and then you can double click and get them up and double click the next one and get that one up. And then you can you know, use the tools to diagnose the emergency and see where that issue is. And if you need to then show the patient, discuss with the patient, double click, talk to them about that massive cavity and this problem that we have to deal with. If there's an abscess, interproximal, bone level issues, perio issues, that's where you can now start to communicate with the patient and uh, discuss with them the strategy for treatment.